Well, for many of us, you know, we were thrown into this home office thing, like, automatically. And if you're planning to work from home for the foreseeable future, you may want to look into really upgrading your current workspace. Yeah, if you're working, like, in the bathtub and the bathroom, maybe you want to rethink that, right? Design gallery and model home branding manager Lee Crowder is here with tips to help us improve our home workspace on a budget. Lee, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Obviously, I'm kidding about the whole work in the bathroom <laughs> thing, but for a lot of people at home, one of the challenges is that they don't have a dedicated home office. So it, let's, start with, let's start with that person. If you do not have a home office, where do you begin? So if you don't have a home office, we know that the kitchen table is a perfect place to start. You've got a ton of space, and that's a really big thing when you're working from home is having space really to spread out. You need to be able to work effectively, but I think it's really good to have parameters. You don't want to be working while everyone's eating breakfast or have your laptop out while dinner is happening. So make sure that you set those time parameters. You know, I'm going to be working from this time to this time, and that way everyone can enjoy, you know, their meals and what they're doing at home without kind of getting kind of in your workspace. And then at the end of the day, it's really important to put everything away. So maybe you have a cart and you can put all of your computer and your work stuff on the cart, put it in the closet, or if you've cleaned out your kitchen lately and your quarantine time, maybe you have an empty cabinet that you can put everything in that cabinet and then you can truly enjoy the evenings, the weekends without seeing your laptop on the dining room table. Yeah, that's basically what happened with us here at the house because my husband and I both working from home, two kids in homeschool, so there were papers everywhere. You also say if you can, add shelves and storage to help you stay organized. That was the biggest problem that continues to be the biggest problem for us is staying organized with all the paperwork. Oh my gosh, it's huge because you know, you're used to having all the space and storage at your office. Your kids are used to, ha used to having their desk and all of a sudden we're in kind of this strange place. So the way I've set it up here at um, one of our studies is I've actually used a dining table where you can have two people face each other and they can work, you have your laptops. Now I have a little privacy as to what I'm doing, but then I have these shelves that provide a ton of storage for me to put whatever I need to put on there for, you know, my husband or my child to put their stuff and have storage there. And then, you know, when you do go back to work, this can then be transformed back to kind of a normal study or a normal office setup. A lot of people at work may have these standing desks, Lee, or at least just a nice office chair, like an ergonomically supportive yeah. office chair for folks who do not have those things at home. And I'm guessing that's most of us. We don't have that at home. How do we compensate? Okay, so we do not want anyone to go buy anything. We want you to use what you have at home. So you want to see what I use as my sit-stand desk? Okay, it's pretty fancy. Yes. Uh -oh. So <laughs> I have this basket, and honestly, the biggest thing when you're looking for height is to make sure that it's at your waist high. So you may have some Amazon boxes that are laying around. Maybe this is a nice storage piece. But now all of a sudden, I can stand and actually have some nice posture. I've taken a break from sitting in a chair, and I have my own sit stand desk. Pretty fancy. Uh -huh. And then the other thing is. Uh, yeah, is I mean. Yeah. So easy. Yeah. It is. It is. Who knew? Um, and then obviously having an ergonomic chair is really important, but you're probably working in a dining chair. Well, beach towel to the rescue. So you're going to take your towel, roll it up. And now all of a sudden I have a lot of great support. I can have my shoulders back and I can feel so much better while I'm working um, during the day. Um, so who knew that a beach towel was all it took? Yeah, a nice lumbar support. And I think <laughs> one of the ironies of being at Homely is that for, for many of us, home is, is our sanctuary. We're comfortable there, but working from home can be really uncomfortable. Let's talk about breaks during the day and how you can sort of set those boundaries so that you don't <laughs> find yourself truly just working all day at that dining room table. Oh my gosh, it's really important. So the alarm on your phone is your best friend. Set it for regular breaks. Um, maybe it's once an hour, you get a five minute break to go walk your dog, go walk around um, the, the block, even just standing up. Um, it's really important to get that fresh air and just kind of a mental break that you normally would get at the office, just walking down the hall, talking to someone about a project. You're, you don't have that ability at home. 
So make sure that you are using that alarm on your phone to take those breaks continuously through the day. And Lee, you also say it's really important to make sure you have good lighting, whether that's natural light or some, some kind of light fixture in your workspace. Yeah, so obviously the elephant in the room is this awesome natural light that we have here um, in the room I'm in. So if you can find a space that has natural light, it is so great for alertness. You're actually gonna be more productive, it helps for those of us whose eyesight is not so great anymore. Um, so natural light is number one key to a great workspace, but we know that not everybody has that opportunity. So um, adding some task lighting is always really great. And even actually replacing your bulbs. So if you have light bulbs in your house that are that warm glow, replace those with an LED that's more of a daylight, and that's gonna give you a little bit brighter um, light. And then lastly, just make sure that the brightness is up on your computer so you can see everything more clearly. And Lee, very quickly, uh, we've got about 10 seconds left. If someone has like an old, depressing, dusty silk plant in their office, <laughs> how about we replace that with some fresh plants <laughs> or fresh let's, flowers? Yes, let's have some fresh uh, flowers to give us a little oxygen, make us feel good. It's just a great wellness tip, absolutely. It really is. You have some great tips for us all together. I was taking notes. I need to go back and tidy up our workspaces at home. Lee Crowder, thanks so much for joining us today. And to connect with Lee, you can visit HoustonLife.tv. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, guys.